Hello to everyone. Today I want us to look at grade 12 geography. Uh, the concept of rural urban migration, we're going to be focusing on this, on this specific concept. It's not very hard to understand the concept. It's a very, very easy concept to comprehend. Look, grade 12, this revision is going to help us to be competent as well as to answer effectively during our tests as well as our exams. June as well as um, December exams or November exams. Look, it says refer to figure 4.3 showing rural urban migration. So this is the figure 4.3 showing the rural urban migration. Look, as you can see in our figure, you have a finger pointing this way, pointing to good infrastructure. You can see a magnet, okay? You can see people moving towards the magnet. The finger is pointing, okay, because there are no roads, poor crops, and soil erosion. There's much soil erosion that's occurring on this particular area. So people are moving from this particular area to those particular area with good healthcare facilities, okay? All right, as well as the good infrastructure. All right, let's, okay, you can take time and pause and try to comprehend the, 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 the figure, okay? And so let's move to our very first question. 4.3.1 says define the term rural urban migration. Very easy. Let's define rural urban migration. So rural urban migration specifically, or basically this is whereby, or is the movement of people from rural areas to urban areas. Simple like that. I repeat again. Rural urban migration is the movement of people from rural, area, rural areas to urban areas. Okay? Yes. Okay. So let's move to 4.3.2. Why is a magnet used in the diagram to illustrate rural urban migration? Why the magnet is being used there? The magnet is being used to show the significance or to show the fact of the existence that the pull factors or is just to show the pull, the pull factors, okay? Yes, which attracts people to move from rural areas to, to urban areas. It's simple, it's just to show the existence of the pull factors. All right, let's move to 4.3.3. .3. Name two push factors visible in the diagram resulting in rural urban migration. Okay, look guys, before I discuss this, mind you, we have pull factors as well as push factors. When you talk about pull factors, pull factors, which you, which you just discussed in the previous question. Look, pull factors, this will buy people are being attracted to move from rural areas to urban areas. While push factors, this will buy now. These um, are, are non-negotiable, means that it's, 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 it's a must for them to move from rural areas to to urban areas. I hope you understand that. Okay? Yes. All right. So, let's name two factor, push factors visible in the diagram. Okay? Number one, soil erosion. Number two, no, because there are no roads and because there are poor crops. I mean that if there is more of the soil erosion, that basically means that we are going to experience a lot of um, uh, no crops being um, be, be being planted by the by, by the farmers, and no roads. This is because of the poor infrastructure. Okay, yes, it's, it's hard to travel, it's hard to drive, etc. Because there's no, there's or because there's low standard of living, poor crops. Okay, poor crops results in people to 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 experience poverty because they can't plant crops in the land. All right, let's move, let's move on. So those are the three push factors, okay? Soil erosion, um, uh, no roads, poor crops, those three. So let's move to 4.3.4. State two ways in which rural urban migration impacts negatively on the rural community. All right, this term of, or this concept of the movement of people from rural areas to, to urban migration, to urban areas, oh sorry. How does it impact negatively on the rural 
community. So I mean that you have to stay two ways. Okay? All right. The very first way is that there will be no attendance to, to the farmhouses. So meaning that farmhouses are going to be, are going to be left unattended, okay? Or empty farmhouses, all right? Yeah, all right, so that's it. So also the collapse of businesses because there's no much threshold or because there's no much um, customers available, okay? Yes, yeah. so meaning that the business owners are going to, are going to make less profit, okay? Or limited, profit okay also you can clearly say that the employment opportunities decreases because there will be no one who is motivated or encouraged to start their own business so that they can or in that case mean that they are going to employ some people right yes so there will be employment or employment opportunities are going to decrease in that case so also you can clearly or you can clearly say high crime rate um due to isolation because you know that um in 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 rural areas uh, the majority of people living in rural areas are elders so i mean that it's, it's grandpas all the people okay yes so the youth have moved to to cities or to urban areas okay all right so that's it so you can use any or you can also say unused resources like farmlands so mean that farmlands are going to be unattended or mean that there will be no activities taking place in farmlands all right so those are those are impacts that negatively or those are um yes those are, are ways that negatively impacts the rural communities okay let's move to 4.3.5 in a paragraph of Approximately eight lines discuss sustainable measures that can be introduced in rural areas to reduce rural urban migration. Okay, so we have to underline or we have to discuss sustainable measures that can be introduced in rural areas to reduce this movement of people from rural areas to urban areas. Mind you, people are moving from rural areas to urban areas because of um, some sudden or some specific um program so we have to discuss that right now okay so how we can prevent that okay yes so those are sustainable measures that we have to discuss the very first thing is that we have to make it sure that or the government is responsible into looking after the people so meaning that people must meet their basic needs so that they can move now from rural areas to urban areas. So also you can say number two, um, so we are going to create some sort of a paragraph as well as sentence form, okay? Yes, but you have to align the points that I'm just going to give you. So you can also say you must provide quality services. So mean that you must provide quality education, um, good or quality healthcare services, as well as other services that are being, that are being, um, um, given or that are, yes, that are being provided by the government. Industrial development to create more employment. You can also say that, okay, industrial development. So meaning that this is by now we are going to find factories in rural towns. Okay, yes, more factories in rural areas and rural towns. Um, yes, so that's going to create more employment, which is going to, to um, be beneficial into, into the members of the rural communities. Development of farm games or the development of game parks in the rural areas. So that is going to is going to contribute into is going to contribute into tourism attraction. Okay? Yes. As well as the employment. Okay? Yes. So mean that um, the, the, the standard of living is going to rise in that case. Also you can say to promote commercial farming. So mean that you have to promote commercial farming. So mean that you know that in rural areas there is more of sustain um, subsistence farming. Yes, subsistence farming. So now we have to introduce the commercial farming, which which is a type of farming whereby you are profitable. Mean that you make money. Mean that you grow crops so that you can sell them. You can get or receive a profit. 
UK. Yes, so we can promote this kind of commercial farming by educating people in the rural areas as well as helping them into, into overcoming um, um, the, the, the point of, of achieving commercial farming. And that's it. And that's the end of our lesson video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.